ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Picking up something spectral nearby. Feel a draft from the invisible. Get out of there. Back down to hell. nest needs to be cleansed. Beware. Watch out. Spectre possession. I have another in sight. Expect up there. A gateway to the mythical Aralu, whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy, dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. Take care, the place is warded.
This isn't over yet. Spectre, going for a meat suit. your face. You're on your own. Thank you. Did you bring your gardening tools? No? Moving on then. Traps. Not yet sprung. Either they caught game and reset the traps, or they caught nothing. I'm betting on nothing. This Etienne, whatever his name is, seems shady. Well, he is French. Let's stay on track. We make for the beach by way of the mills. This is no ordinary amulet. Then it belonged to no ordinary settler. Everything?
Red, I can't manifest any more. Ask for help if you need it. from the invisible.
picking up something spectral nearby. Did we miss a few? Don't just stand there. Move! Change tack. Get back up! Bodies. Ah, too late. Killed with an axe, looks like. And here, another campfire. This would do nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. They escaped. They escaped? The Hittabel Sykes, I salute you. Someone actually made that of you. Warms the heart. Does that, aye. Does that. Think you can fend for yourself?
I am warded. I cannot. Damn this to hell. What news from the woods? Is anyone alive? I found them. Truly? How many live? Two. We found the grave of a third. A lumberjack named Peter. Peter Buckland. I knew him. A strong man. Good heart. He was ill when we left New Eden and stayed with the second group. He died saving the other two. Mehitabel Sykes and a fella named Etienne escaped the region and are, oh, it seems, on their way to Boston. I am relieved. Mehitabel Sykes, you little underdog. The other fellow, I don't know. Mehitabel kept notes of their journey. You may have them. Thank you. A story with a happy ending at last. Perhaps the rest of us may dare hope for our own. Goodbye to you for now, Kate.
Something's nearby. Where is it? Looks derelict. Is he really inside? Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. Think you can fend for yourself? Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. He tried his hand at several translations.
This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. He doesn't speak well of his dad. He thought he was better. That's not a particularly difficult task, in fairness. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. You need to see this. Why did he feel like he needed so much protection? It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? More magic muckery. He wished to disguise his presence, or perhaps to distract from it. Book again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used.
Could be useful. was up to, and the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. Focus on the pillars around us. Standing by.
standing by. Dodge! You'd miss it. You know you would. Red, come see this. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? I know I make everything look easy, but... Not getting through. These webbings are too thick. We won't get through. So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. Suppose we do. Dark rituals, 
Void Breach, General Weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Take care. The place is warded. I am warded. I cannot. Demonologists really like pushing the limits of their knowledge without considering other lives. That just makes them human. Wards. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Sorry, not this time. A ward restrains me. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Us. Stay low. Your funeral. Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right on to the full In your stuff will force me to talk. Careful now. Think you can fend for yourself?
creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. This is some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> so, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Or plane? World? The Aralu is not easily described. But it makes a fascinating study. Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Why in the hell would you give him a resurrection ritual? Ruth's death hit poor Caleb hard. He was alone, and so I would often stop by his workshop. We talked. He took a keen interest in my studies and was a good listener. When he learned that she could possibly return, he had one question. How? Men. Bonding over bereavement and black magic. A pretty tale indeed. I should have proceeded with more caution. You shouldn't have proceeded at all. We have a witch hunt on our hands. You could face trial for this botched ritual. Yes, and I'm sorry. I found it in a copy of De Occulti Philosophia by Cornelius Agrippa von Nettesheim. A remarkable book. I've met my fair share of illustrious occultists, and none owned an authentic Agrippa. Much is lost in translation or altered in the printing. I doubt your copy is an exception. Of course! The power is in the words, and mine were wrong, so the power went awry. How very fascinating! Are you aware of what would happen if people learnt of your studies? Surely the acquisition of knowledge cannot be a sin. Do you remember Deborah? Miss Comenius. Yes, of course, I remember. Your father tasked us with an investigation. One way or the other we must return with the mystery solved. Ah. I think I understand what you're saying. I might be. In a tiny little bit of, uh, danger. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere.
by the Aralu, do you mean the Void? Neither name does it justice. This place is beyond words. The Aralu, Mr. McCraith, is made of the very fabric of our primordial myths. Isn't it amazing? How can you be sure the Void has tainted the region? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, Ours is a corruption of mind and spirit, and I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? to find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky, a maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell. And I am a man of many sciences. I am, in fact, a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? You did not find the void breach beneath the mill by accident. You had help. Who taught you? I did my research. Suddenly, you're a man of few words. I'd rather not involve those not present. Discretion, you understand. Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Ah, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them where he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. You've studied demonology. Did you do it alone? When my father forbade me to continue, I confess I disobeyed him in secret. Those big books were very boring until they were forbidden. Suddenly I could not get enough of their secret knowledge. Funny, eh? More recently, a good friend of my father showed me that I had only been scratching at the surface. Who was your father's friend? An itinerant Frenchman who often visited New Eden in recent years. He called himself a true pursuer. As a thinker, he was prolific and profound. My father was so proud to be included in his discourse. For him, knowledge is the ladder to greatness, and greatness is the prize. 
To me, knowledge is itself the prize. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze, then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. Uh, pardon my morbid enthusiasm, Mr. Stuarte, but could I ask you a few questions? What do you wish to know? Do you still need to eat? Do you feel hunger? Sorry, it's just, you're the first ghost I've met, uh, in person, as it were. I don't eat. Not in the way you do. I feel hunger. Again, not in the way you do. Fascinating. And can you touch things, smell them? Are colors the same as you remember them? My senses are different. It's difficult to describe how. I can see, sometimes touch. I cannot smell. Red tells me this is a blessing. How do you manifest in this plane? Do you feel bound or are you here by choice? It feels as if I were clinging to a rope high above the abyss. Even if I wished to let go, I could not bring myself to do it. I see. What about your banisher skills? Can you use them? Do the accoutrements of your craft still work? As a ghost, do they not harm you? The marks on my hands and the rings on my fingers aren't actually there. They have no more effect on me than a memory. Can you talk to any ghost you wish? No. I sense traces of their presence. To talk to them, I must still do the work. And yet here I am, talking to you. How marvelous. The dead are rarely as articulate, nor are they accommodating. In fact, they're often quite rude. We should probably get going. Some other time, then. Well, we've merely scratched at the surface of the great mysteries. I mean, look around us. We stand here beyond the ultimate frontier. S sorry. I mean to say, yes, Mistress Duarte. <laughs>